Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jabali here and my buddy Puno. Hey Puno, what's up? This is actually Puno. He does all the artwork and graphic design for CEO conventions and events for me. But today we're actually in Chicago for Frosty Faustings and the freezing cold of against Chicago. But I want to do something impromptu. I've always loved arcade machines. I was an arcade baby in the 90s. And here today we are going to do a tour of Galloping Ghost Arcade. This is the sign right here. This place has 914 arcade machines. A, cl a classic collection of so much shooters, racers, fighting games. So going to give you a really long in-depth tour. It's going to be a long video going over everything, show you some of my favorites. So uh, kind of check it out. You excited, Puna? Oh, yeah. All right, let's get out of this freezing cold. See. All right, everyone, so like I said, Galloping Ghost Arcade is a ginormous place. I think this is probably about a 15,000 square foot warehouse building, but uh, I'm gonna start at one corner and kind of walk through this whole place so you guys can see everything. But right now, I mean, the, basically the bottom left corner, uh, when you walk in, you actually pay about $25 for all you can play all day long. They do have a second building about two blocks down that's all 44 pinball machines. But for tonight, we're here in the arcade machines, but uh, these are all the Mortal Kombat machines right here. Uh, we got Puna playing right now, but as you can see, they grow, and then they have all the, uh, you know, the character portrayals here, a little Hall of Fame wall of all the Mortal Kombat, so you can tell, and the developers are over there, but, you know, here, Panda's Palace, the grid, this is a classic, they have all six, so they literally try to keep everything up and running, and if you're wanting the black bars, if you're from the newer generation, it's because the CRTs are running at a frame rate that the cameras are too fast for, or vice versa, one of the two, but either way, it's because it just runs at a different frequency, so you'll see those black bars going through. Uh, but yeah, kind of take you through a tour, Puna, let's walk. So Killer Instinct, I worked on the KI-3 with Microsoft and Iron Galaxy Studios. Um, just so many classic guys. These guys are playing Contra Evolution right here on a big screen. I believe that was a mobile game, the NBA Jams as well. So, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sega Sonic. You're gonna see a lot of, you might find some stuff. I already found like five different machines I've never heard of before. Sega All-Stars Racing, very underrated racer uh, compared to Mario Kart. Chase HQ, Chase HQ games are actually one of my personal favorite racing games on the original Game Boy. Growing up, and I'm then I'm trying to find Silent Scope. Silent, oh, we're gonna, oh, yeah, I'm sure they have. They it. have Silent Scope, and somewhere. so I asked one of the employees here, um, and they said every Monday they actually get a brand new machine in. But this is basically, I believe this was the 80s. This is a 3D, basically, hologram game. It's like an action, kind of like Dragon's Lair. But the fact they have these machines, you know, to this is fighting keep these right going. Here. Holocene. Oh yeah, it's like a little a little fighting game. I don't oh. know if you can see, but oh my god, where's that? Don't. It's all reflections and mirrors. Yeah. But uh, you gotta press the red button coin. But everything's on free play right here. Oh, there it is. There it is. So start that game. That's super cool. And then a little hologram character. Oh man. Let's play TJ yeah. combo. We can find these on emulators now and just play it like as you're watching on a TV. But super cool. I mean, back then in the '80s when this came out, man, you're just like, oh my, this is impressive. So. It's like fighting a games are most popular. It's like a giant like 3DS. Yeah, like. <laughs> actually, good call. So I I'm telling you guys, this is just wall to wall I, arcade machines. I think this is the shmup area. There's yep. a lot of shoot 'em ups. Shoot 'em ups. And they do this obviously by category, but I'm gonna try to show you as much as I can. Like I said, this be a longer video, but this is you know, yeah. this is arcade heaven. Now, would you come here every single day? Probably not. But it's cool that they also do high scores. You let them know if you're good or you have a chance of beating a high score, they come bring out a camera, start recording you and seeing how you do. Uh, and see if you can beat the score and then you live in uh, history. So, kudos to these guys. But again, just wall to wall. Keep walking, Puna. Oh my God. Lots of shoot 'em ups. So, shoot 'em ups are the classics. I love this game. Raiden, yeah, any of the Raiden games are incredible. The 1940s series. So, but they have everything. I'll, uh, I think pretty much 95% of these are originals. A lot of these might be cabs that combine multiple games. Yeah. Gunbird. The, the cool thing is, like, if you look at the marquee, some of them are like re repros, but they also put the, the year that it came out. So you know when it actually came out. <laughs> yeah. So, and then, yeah, another one. Again, you know, and we're in the year 2023. These are all 80s, 90s games, basically, up into the 2000s. It's like, you can find all these on an emulation, but there's no better thing in arcades. And, you know, when you think about it, Arcades were the pay-to-win type games. Uh, you know, you, they built these games with you putting as many quarters in as possible. They also have Back like some. Corner. They have some uh, imported games like this Castlevania game right here. It's huge. You actually like you use a whip. It's basically the whip. original Wiimote. Yeah, it's like the uh, Wiimote. And you whip and you shoot. Let me see if I can peek in on these guys. 
So, oh, you guys, uh, I already got lost. He told me where the Primal Rage 2, which is one of the only ones in the world here, because the game actually never officially came out, and it took me about 10 minutes to find it. So, let's walk a little faster. So, this is all the shoot 'em up areas. Shoot -em ups. We got some. So, we got Ikaruga, is a really good classic. Uh, shoot 'em ups, a treasure game. Another Death, Death Smiles. Death Smiles. Yeah. That's probably the closest to an anime shoot 'em up you'll ever get. There's another anime one over there. There's a bunch of them. So. Yeah, and then we got the Gradius, the classic Gradius over here. Gradius, so yeah. All right, so shoot 'em up room, complete. This is basically, the main room right here, where there's just it just never ends. It's this a place, man. Of stuff. You know, this place opened up in 2010. You would think this place has been here forever, but 13 years. Uh, again, every Monday, a new machine comes in. They're up to 914. I remember when I first came here about six years ago for another event, and I'd come in, and they actually didn't have the whole building yet. So they've been like kind of taking it over slowly. So we're gonna try to go through every single row so here. Got... If you see something that uh, brings back memories, especially I love myself some pro wrestling. This was a classic WrestleFest four-player game. Uh, elevator action, Polaris. Again, Mr. Driller, I've heard of. I've probably seen and played 80% of the games in here, but again. Obviously Frogger. Claw, yeah. They have, of course, the Froggers of the world. The Galagas, the Pac-Mans are here, yeah. so. But a really famous place. If you're ever in Chicago and you've ever enjoyed arcade games, please, Make it a point to come in here. Uh, I, I couldn't even tell you. We might end up going back through the same row, but a lot of the classic shooters, the Terminator 2. Yeah. Carnival is a good... Uh, yeah, Carnival, another great shooter. Great and I just shooter. actually bought the Sindon gun, so I've been playing a lot of the Sindon gun. Uh, games at home, game playing too. a lot of these uh, through Techno Pair, if you know what that is. Uh, but again, just... You can be here forever. The only, you know, as if I were to review the venue itself, just the aisles, it's old school arcade, man. You gotta walk between people. I remember the last it's time like, I came here, it's it was, like a real arcade back in the day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. We, we grew up in the streets. Um, so, again, a lot of shooters I've never seen, but everything works here. So these guys are playing some Dungeons & Dragons beat-em-ups. Uh, Iron Galaxy actually remade those uh, and did a port of them. Sunset Riders, one of my classics. It's one of my favorite shooters of all time. And if you ever play this as the four-player version, pick the third player because he has the shotgun and he shoots more things. At once. Uh, SNK made a shooter. Like... Beast Busters. So Puna's going to know a lot of the more obscure stuff as well. That's why he's here. Yeah. Yeah, and this is, uh, uh, these guns use solenoids. So since I've been using a Sinden gun at home, I've been learning all about the technology. But the guns, they vibrate. Obviously, we're using a solenoid technology. And then you see where you're aiming. So then he's got a little reload button. Uh, cock it. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, you didn't know that part, did you? I forgot all about right. that one. Night Slayers, Renegade. Nice and Nice and around. Another one of my favorite beat-em-ups. Beat -em -ups. Great beat-em-ups. Yeah, Capcom made this. So... Everyone remembers Contra for the NES, but they never remember the arcade. Yeah, the arcade version was not anywhere near as good or as fluid, yeah. but... Uh, it is a vertical screen instead of a horizontal. Screen. So, yeah. And these are a dying breed, these monitors, finally. So, Rastin, another classic. Uh, Street Fighter 89. Yeah. So, this looks weird because it is. Yeah. It's actually built like this. Yeah. It's tur you it's, see how it's tilted? It's so. tilted. It's, it was <laughs> supposed to be like this. So, so you can tell the artistic uh, nature of some of these machines. They were trying to make them stand out. Because remember, you know, an arcade would buy the machine outright, kind of like a publisher, and own the arcade, and then just basically keep the coins. But if that game wasn't popular, it wasn't getting tokens you're, in, you're your arcade much wasn't making them. money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just come through. Three Stooges, Three one Stooges? of my dad's favorite comedies growing up. Video games here. A game I did not know, we saw earlier, not Exterminator. The Speed and Butthead Machine. Did not even exist it. So it's a Beavis and Butthead beat em up. That's that's pretty funny. <laughs> so Tubin, man, I used Tubin. to go to a oh, water Tubin. park Wenton Wilds in Orlando before they shut it down, and this machine was there. And I used to put so many quarters in there along with the original Killer Instinct. Paper Boy, they have the classic first Paper Boy. game ever made? So, maybe? First fight, uh, it is one of them, yeah. Water I remember park. I was talking about that. Somebody goes, it was, it was the first main you ever picked up, and I said, the guy in white, first player. So uh, Indiana Jones right here. Pack Rat. So, uh, a couple other games. Oh, I might play some for some B-roll. There's the Arm Champ game right there. We haven't gone through it. And then my favorite row. This is a Wii game. I don't believe this actually came out on arcade. Did that say that? Yes. That's oh, where it did. came from. That's okay. So, the Japanese version only. Yeah, the arcade version was actually based on the Wii hardware. That's why it was only on the Wii. Got it. So, Street Fighter, the movie game. Horrible game. Everyone has infinites. Alpha or Zero Three yeah. in the Japanese version, Alpha One and they Two. They have Street Fighter Five. They did come out with an arcade version of Street Fighter Five about four years after the game came out. 
Ultra Street Fighter 4, one of my favorite Street Fighters of all time. Ninja Kids, a beat em up, you know, a uh, F Zero uh, AX, right? No, so, RX. yep, that's the uh, arcade version yep. of the uh, GameCube game. So that's cool, and that actually the thing does vibrate and move around a little bit. So oh, you it moves you around. Yeah, so Street Fighter Three, Super Turbo, uh, a game right at the entrance. No, so I yeah. don't think they actually have the one where you hit the button really hard, but I yeah. Mean, so this Fighter originally one. had like giant buttons on it, uh, you know, when you first play it. But nobody talks about Street Fighter One. We talk about Street Fighter Two, and this changed the entire world, and probably the reason I exist in the career that I do. So. Uh, and then, yeah, a bunch of classics. Yeah. So this I discovered recently through watching some just uh, YouTube videos. It's a, twi uh, a twin stick shooter. One of our favorites, right? The WrestleMania, WrestleMania. arcade game, yeah, with visuals, yeah. basically a Mortal Kombat riff on it. Uh, no, it's okay. This was, I did put a lot of time into it. Doink the Clown, Undertaker, Doink the Clown. Shawn Michaels, so, Brett. Bam Bam Big Little was not on the Super Nintendo or the Genesis one. Uh, it's a lot of times where arcades had different versions of yeah. characters. Are you looking through here like a submarine? Of course, we got so, Asteroids, classic Asteroids. Asteroids, yep. Asteroids Deluxe, so. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, check this out. This one's like, off, but they had a nice little flare to it. Dragon's R2, Space Ace. Space so, Ace. Space Ace. so the, <laughs> haven't been down so, this aisle so yet. So we got Nintendo's right? arm we wrestling, got, yeah. Arm you wrestling. basically jiggle this back and forth, timing based. That's probably one of the first rhythm games, technically. So. Super Punch Out. Punch I always remember the Bubble Go, Bubble Go. That's all I used to hear in arcades. So I think this is a rare cat yeah. because. As you can see, it's Popeye, right? But if you remember, they would like repurpose the Popeye cabs into Donkey Kong cabs. So, guys playing the original Mario Bros. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty much the Nintendo aisle. Yeah, Donkey yeah. Kong. The old school Nintendo, all the Donkey Kong games. There's so, so. many aisles. Yeah, again, it's never ending. So, guys. I, I believe this is like the, eight, the all 80s. All the classics, Robotron right there, Journey, Spy Hunter. Yep. So again, these are machines you Sinistar. want to be running tournaments on, but it's it's, it's impressive. Such a great game because of the Sinistar, like this guy, like the graphic popping. design, yeah, yeah, just shouts Miracle and scares. Bubbles, like, splat. Again, it's amazing how they get one machine. Maybe that machine at the front was the one once a year one they did Smash TV, separate from Total Carnage, but still pretty cool. Come back here, Puzzle Fighter, Super Puzzle Fighter Two, one of my favorite puzzle games is not on. Darn. Vampire Savior, we'll go back down this row. Check out Off this These were cool. Oh yeah, Battletoads Arcade. Very the funny. NES was one of the hardest ones ever, but the arcade was where it was at. This is where very, so like, compared to the other Battletoads, this was very graphic and very violent. So there's that. Vendetta, Teddy Boy Blues, 64th Street. Just never ending, guys. This is, this is heavy. We're gonna check out Tekken. Three inches, four, 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 Cool. Looks like there's a little switch down here. That's impressive. Click that again for me. Oh. Instantly switching over games. Yep. That's tag. Yeah. Go back. And go back to three. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> oh, with a little toggle switch. Soul Calibur 2, one of my favorite arcade beat em ups, our fighting games of all time. Marvel the Classic. Yep. Let me show you why, like, back in the day, for those who don't know about arcades. They, you actually do have to unlock characters. Yeah, it was basically in my arcade, it was timing based. So not everyone's here. Not everyone's so here. there is an unlock master code that they could do through the uh, BIOS of the arcade machines. Yeah. But back then, man, you would wait and there was no internet. You really had a clue what characters were coming out until they came out. Yeah. So there was internet, but you know what I mean. So it wasn't as easily available information. VR racing, a couple stand up racing cabs, Daytona USA. Of course, Capcom vs. SNK2, this game, guys, if you know me, this is why CEO exists. I used to play this very competitively. Uh, one of my favorite fighting games of all time. I'm actually in a side tournament for it this year, so... Me too! Super excited. Yeah. Good luck, Puna. Yeah, yeah. Hope you don't have to face me. Uh, hopefully. Um, so, yeah. I think... Um, there... I think we this missed... This way, the, then left. I think we missed the SNK aisle. There's a... We'll get SNK. there. Somewhere. Did we go through this one? I think we, we went did. here. We like that. We're already lost. We're already We're lost. Gonna go fast. This place is so big, like we get lost. Let's go to the back room now. Oh, that one? Yeah. <laughs> I might be oh, cutting right here. this. Yeah. So there's oh, a here we are. Okay, yeah. So we didn't go down this row. So this is a classic. This actually never came out in America. It's a four-player beat em up. Super cool graphic design are uh, you know. Uh, but actually never came out, but if you have a chance to find this and play it, trust me, you will not have a bad time. Super great, cool game. Great beat-em-up game. 
Uh, we went so, through this way. Let's go back this way. We did see Vendetta, yep. Yeah. Let's go back this, this way. way. Guys, we're lost already. So this is SNK. We went this whole way. Oh, okay. Yeah, here's the Neo Geo SNK. Yeah. yeah. Back in the day, man, you did not buy a Neo Geo home console. Shit was expensive as hell. So, but yeah, King of Fighters, classic. Waku Waku 7, also an uh, underrated quarter game. And of course, the Neo Geo cabs back then would let you switch between the games. Which is awesome. By so, the way. King of, multiple King of Fighters games, entire King of Fighters row right here, super mm. cool. I love the you know the design of these cabs standing up. So, if you're a Neo Geo fan, this was the row for you. Metal Gear, Metal, Metal Gear. Slug. You know, I have a confession. I've actually never completed a single Metal Slug, yet I've gone through them. You know, bits and pieces of those games. So, Samurai Showdowns, also one of the original uh, Neo Geo games. A lot of us would see as kids. Rampage, Deathstalker. So. Sega Strike Fighter, you know, when you see, this is why you came to the arcades, these big beefy machines right here, so. Where are we going, Poon? Are we lost? Uh, we haven't gone here yet, right? That's where we came from. Is it? Oh, yeah. Let's just shoot them up. Oh, my God, we're lost. All right, go straight. Let's oh, go straight. Jesus, I'm lost. All no, right. we haven't been down this row. Have we? Oh, my God, it's so confusing. All right, can we another classic spinner? Track wheel game. Brick Breaker, as a lot of them call it now. Here's more of the classics we saw, so. Let's go straight and into the other room. <laughs> <laughs> With uh, like 16 bit gra uh, sound effects. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's pretty funny. It's actually just... completely different from the Genesis version. Oh, yes, 100%. But look, yeah. you can make everyone dance. Yep. <laughs> by pressing the special of two buttons together. So, and then you can shoot, and then he turns into a giant robot. And then he uh, hates saying this, but he saves the children in the game, which is pretty ironic. It's super cool. Right here. Save Susie. Susie saved. You're welcome. Standing machine gun games. Operation. Now, do you remember Operation Wolf at all? I do. Oh yeah, hundred percent. So, back in the day, um, it was there was a game. This game was remade on Xbox 360 Live, and the only way for you to play uh, HD Remix was to purchase this game. Kind of one. So, Grandmaster. Yep. Grandmaster is what they run it on. Where there wasn't T spinning. T spinning was broken. So Tecmo Bowl, oh my I've, god. Yeah, I don't think I've seen, seen this in person. I've Holy this shit. In person. This was the game me and my brothers would play on regular Nintendo as kids and bet money and lunches on. That's impressive. Oh yeah, arcade design. So different graphics than the NES version, but uh, Battle Shark, another submarine game where you basically look through here. This actually turns super cool. Batman, Batman Forever. Forever. <laughs> the only thing good to come out of the movie was the actual decent beat em up. So another version of this game. And McDonald's glasses. And McDonald's, whatever, dude. <laughs> you remember those? So, oh, yeah. Uh, the Climax, Jam Boy Safari. You can actually, uh, yeah, Mario Kart here, Arctic Thunder, not open. So Tetris Challenge with Disney characters. <laughs> Junior pac here. And Rush Down, oh, so Rush Hour, those are the classics. So Arctic Thunder. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, Arthur Thunder, uh, if it was working, it would shoot like cold air at you playing. So if you haven't played it, find oh. a working one. I'm oh, in Chicago, so they probably turned that off. <laughs> uh, Chicago 1920, Crazy World, obviously the classic. Crazy Taxi. Okay, that's cool. They have an initial D about to come up. Sorry, right, so here's the uh, Primal Rage 2 that everyone knows this place for. I think it's the only one in the world. I think this is the only one. Final Rage is basically the dinosaurs and, uh, you know, dinosaur age fun of each other. There's no humans that would transform into them. But this game, you can find a, you know, ROM of it online somewhere. But, uh, yeah, it never officially came out. And this place was known for having the first machine and only machine. So, super cool. Mm -hmm. Initial D, this game at every convention. If you can have a company bring that to you, people are on this. I think it's the best racing game for arcades. It just, it just controls so well. Uh, Red Racer is my personal favorite, but and then Crazy, Crazy Taxi, Taxi, of course. So coming back to where we first came in here, Death Squad, uh, Radar Zone, haven't heard of that. Again, more games I've heard. Double Dragon. This game, actually, I used to look up to my oldest brother, Omar. And when we were at the arcades as kids, there's a place called Congo River Golf, Pup -pup Golf Place in Orlando. He was one of the only people in their history when the game was out to beat it on one coin. He beat the entire game on one coin. That's what kind of inspired me to get good at video games. He doesn't really play anymore, but he was really good at Mortal Kombat 3. Going up to the little dragon, so I would watch him and go to the arcade, and he would body this game with a single token. So super cool stuff. Uh, House of the Dead 2, 
House of the Dead 1, these are the classic shooters as well. House of the Dead 3, House of the Dead 4. You gotta get them all, right? So. Well, there's no typing of the dead. Yeah. I haven't seen no, them yet. <laughs> you need a keyboard. You need a keyboard. Uh, aliens they do came out with a couple of good rifle Morgoths. games. But look how crazy these zones <laughs> are. Looks like the aggro rock. Um, so yeah. War Gods, another Primal Rage type, Mortal Kombat type, horrible fighting game. Uh, one of the worst ones, but people still like uh, it. Matt McMuscle loves this game. Jurassic Park, this is a classic with the guns. Spy Hunter, another classic. Caveman Ninja, Jackie Chan, another classic Ninja Gaiden Arcade, also one of the best NES games ever. So, again guys, just keeps on going, does not end. Can't stop, won't stop. Super high impact. Of course, the classic NBA Jam right here. So you've got that. I think this is the second one. I've seen another one somewhere else. Probably Tournament Edition. Yeah. So King of Dragons also, it's a, it came out right before um, Knights of the Round came out. So another classic fight, right beat them up. Strider. So Strider, Strider 1 and 2, also classics. Then they brought it back in like 2013 on PS3. So I thought that was yeah. cool. This game looks cool. What is this, Gamshara? It's actually I don't think I've cool. never played that game. It looks like a Sunset Rider kind Wild, of game. It looks like Wild Guns. Oh, Wild Guns. So, Final Blow, Monkey, Pol uh, Monkey Mole Panic. I remember okay. playing this game. Super cool. I, I remember playing Mole Beat em Ups, but oh. I've never seen that. Yeah. That's cool. Another title machine. Guardians of the Hood, War Gods. So, right, let's go this way. All right, we're coming towards the halfway point. We haven't been down here, have we? No. No, we haven't. So, Jesus, guys. It just, look. <laughs> oh, oh, Cyber Set. We'll going? get back to that. Magic Sword, so. Power Super Drift, EX. another original racing game, uh, kind of a la, um, what you call it, OutRun. Dirt Fox, Bionic Commando, Darkstalkers, very good series. Street Fighter EX Plus, 3D version of Street Fighter they tried to get into once the popularity of Tekken and Virtual Fighter had grown. Uh, did not take off so well, but they were fun on PlayStation. So, <laughs> Boot Camp, can you imagine playing this? Paladin, so another game off, but that's cool. Surprise Attack. Screen's kind of faded, you can't see it, but the main event. event, one of my favorite wrestling games with a single button and a tag button. So I used to play a lot of that with my brothers. Tech Romancer. Tech Romancer, another fighting game. Doesn't look on. Alligator Hunts. Again, they don't have room to fit all Redemption's game. Luckily, no ski ball or Redemption games in here. Sonic Championship Fighter, another original Sega wrestling game that used a vertical monitor. Uh, Beautiful graphics at that, the time it had come out, so uh, that's a classic. Came out around Golden Axe time. The original Virtual Fighter, yeah, I used to play a lot of this. Yes, this changed the game, guys. So it made people start thinking about 3D outside of Street Fighter. Mace right there, space is at, oh, that's a tiny machine. So, and again, these aren't, you can't just, you know, call someone or order parts from Amazon. This is all specialty, but because of COVID, everyone's stuck home, everyone built out their arcades. Um, let's go down here. We did not see oh, yeah, we uh, spawn here. here. Crime Fighter is another classic beat em up. Fantastic Night Dreams Con. This is a uh, shmup, adorable little shmup. Star Castle, Dragon Ball Z, Psychic Force. So, yeah. never ending, guys. I told you this would be a long video. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know in the comments below if you like stuff like this. Every time I travel for an event, uh, I'll try to visit a local arcade, do a little tour. Uh, if you're still tuned in and you like that, please let me know. Oh, the other like classic fighting game from like yeah. pre Street Fighter. We are Kung Fu. Okay. I think that's a W E. Or is that Yi R? No, that's We yeah. Are. Yi R Kung Fu. We are. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyways, Sailor Moon fighting uh, beat 'em up. That was, actually up. wasn't a bad game. Great game. Trojan. Uh, Do Dompachi. These are the original cave shooters, think, as they call them. Is that black? No, that's not black label. Dump no. So, but either way, these were called cave shooters, meaning thousands of bullets are coming at you. Uh, bullet hell is another term for it. Yep, cave is the, the you know the developer, but those were known for just being so hard. And this Golden Axe, this actually never officially came out back in the. This is the uh, basically an arcade sequel that was kind of hard to come by, and then Arcade One Up had come out with one of these. Uh, but super cool game. Genesis had a part three to it. Another classic beat 'em up. I forgot this game came out. Yeah. Oh, this existed. Yeah, this the tiny little characters and stuff had mm -hmm. Namor in it. Before we made them famous uh, with the MCU now. Uh, Star Wars Arcade Racer, Cyber Sled, one of my favorite PlayStation 1 launch titles. This is a super cool game with the sticks. Star Wars Trilogy Arcade, super loud. Star Wars, 
Pac-Man. There you go, the Pac-Man Galaga in the dark corner. So, some Rambo. more. That's going to be the last room. We'll get to that in a Can moment. Rambo, Dynamite Duke. Can of Spike. So, yeah, Blitz, Hopping Maddie, Track okay. and Field. Between the two, NBA Jam or Blitz? NBA Jam for sure, but Blitz was uh, a good. lot of fun. It's now the newer second. versions of it took out all the extra hits after a down uh, because of just head injuries. So, Dead Connection, Carnival. So, we're getting into the old school stuff. Mr. Do. Mr. Do. Just imagine, guys, back then, like, we're playing our shit for free on phones, free-to-play games. Back then, somebody would come in here and spend, like, $100 on a game in, like, a single week. So, you people complain about $70 to buy a game. Captain America and the Avengers came out around the same time as the uh, Spider-Man. Iron, Iron Man was so. OP in that. Cyberball, another, uh, like, uh, future techie uh, football game. And the final room... I'm sure I missed something, but we'll go left. <gasps> oh, we'll go right. <laughs> oh, we found a silent we scope. We found a silent scope. So lethal enforcers. And if you're wondering why it's not so loud, the mic system I'm using actually has noise canceling, so you should be able to hear a little bit, but it's not like drowning it out. But you know what? It's not like overload sensory, even uh, like me personally hearing it. It just, it's perfect. Everything feels very well tuned and zoned, uh, you know, zoned into the area you're playing. But LA machine guns, you know, I haven't seen a DDR machine. Is there a DDR machine here? No. I don't think so. I don't think they have the space for it. They want the people. But you know where's a DDR machine? Back Jamele. at Frosty Faust. Oh, no, Jamelee Land, Land every year at CEO 2023. Taking place June 23th, 25th. Anyways, Galaxy Rangers. So, some beautiful games. I'm taking mental note of some of these games to check out when we go home. Silent Scope, yep. Sniper game. So, the cool thing about Silent Scope uh, is that there's another monitor inside that gives you a different person. Oh, yeah, and it's basically giving you the actual zoom of yeah. how it would look if you're a real sniper. So, these are classic. I think they're up to like part five on the uh, uh, consoles. Darius vs. EX using two wide, wide screens here. This is a ginormous cabinet. Pit Fighter, this was the original kind of Mortal Kombat before Mortal Kombat. A three player, uh, basically, uh, wrestling game style where you just beat them up. It's kind of like Bloodsport, a mix of all that. So. But yeah, you can tell Bloodsport, yeah. kind of Jean-Claude Van Damme imagery. Darius Burke, Undercover really, cops. really cool. Shoot him up. More Darius. Metamorphic Force, another awesome beat him up. Looks just like X-Men if you really pay attention, but uh, amazing game in its own right. Guilty Gear, the game that has been taking over anime. Simpsons, the classic. I have one of the arcade one-ups and it's still one of the most aesthetically pleasing arcade cabs you'll ever see. Operation Wolf. The big boy. So, Star Blade, Star Rider. Gun Survivor, Biohazard, Resident Evil's Code Veronica, Space Gun, and then yeah, this is a this is the mecca of arcades back in the day. When you walked in and you saw this six-player arcade machine, guys, only for X-Men, unbelievable. So, and it's basically using two giant CRTs to create one massive widescreen right there. So, but yeah, X-Men machine, super rare. You can't find that anymore, and you also don't have the space for that. Uh, Captain Commando. Some more games. Turtles. Turtles. Return of the Jedi. You know, it has both Turtles games. Those are also, you know, we played the hell out of these as kids. All the Marvel Capcom games. The Super yeah. Muscle Bomber, a great, great fighting role slash wrestling game. I think Agar was in this. Sequel to uh, yep. Saturday Night Slam Masters. Saturday Night Slam Masters. Masters. I actually had to play this at the Mystery Tournament at Combo Breaker and I won. Because I'm like, you know what, I haven't really played this, but Hagar just does spinning Laria and it's two buttons and then like a spinning pile driver. Slam Master, Cyberbots, another cool fighting game. And you know what's funny? This whole row just came out as a Capcom collection. Uh, the big blue arcade one up, Capcom collection has all these games uh, to play at home. So it's super cool to see their originations. Uh, Whole Land, haven't seen that. Everything's on free play, by the way. If you guys... oh, yeah, yeah, you pay that 25 bucks. It was 25 tonight, right? Yeah, 25 yep. tonight. And then uh, 30 if you do the pinball place, but again, it's right down the street. Another classic beat em up, not that one, is uh, Cadillac and Dinosaurs. Super classic beat em up. Uh, Never released anywhere else. Yeah, I believe it was a three player game as well, but you can play yeah. this at home. Desert Breaker, a couple more games. Robocop, these are also some classics. Chameleon, Fiper Phase, Die Hard Arcade. Oh, is this really tilted? Yeah, <laughs> we're going downhill. Virtual Fighter 2, F4, Evolution. Yeah, I consider one of the greatest fighting games of all time by all standards. Um, the Enforcer is a really cool classic game. What is this one? Crystal of Kings? I haven't seen that before. Never heard of it. Oh, put the coins in. There's little red buttons at the bottom. 
see what this character select screen looks like. See, I loved games that gave you the, the quick tutorial. These are the original layers of tutorials. Oh, it looks like a beat-em-up. Is the character's name Coco? I have no idea. I didn't see it. And then you have actually the move list right up here. You can kind of see that. So hopefully the quality of this video is okay for you guys. I'm at 0.7 zoom, so you can see a little bit more than just what's directly in front of me. Yeah, this looks like a beat-em-up. Actually, it looks like a very cool 3D element beat-em-up. Can we go right? Shoot, you're like going through the night at the museum. All right, Crystal Kings. I want to look that one up. Blank's Adventure, that was originally a Turbo Graphics game. And then, you know, Armadillo Racing, this is an actual game with a little trackball. It's actually super, super smooth. Space Harrier, Brave, a firefighter game, very cool. And yeah, a couple of other games. So, guys, and then the original Speed Racer, Time Crisis. I could actually beat this entire game on one coin if I wanted to. So, back in the day. Here. Both are cool. And this is the original Gun Con that had the, you know, the uh, uh, recoil effect. The feedback. The feedback, basically, before there was dual shocks. Oh. Fix the aim, fix the aim. And no, uh, the first one, you only had one gun. Second one added like machine guns and allowing you to switch and stuff, but still runs well. I'm sure the left screen is a little bit, it's not showing up. But I used to be able to beat this game without even dying. Yeah, I can't shoot that guy in the left. See, as you can tell. So not everything's running pretty good. I can't shoot him. Oh, it's not me, it's done. And that's Time Crisis 1. Wait, wait, wait. we gotta talk about Lucky and Wild. It's a race, shoot em up. Oh, crap, yeah, you see that? So it's got basically the guns and a wheel. So you have one so person driving. So what they really want it's you to do- It's Bonnie and Clyde. So what they really want you to do is to drive and shoot at the same time. But the way my friends and I do it is one drive and I double <laughs> So super cool game. Who more of this, right? Like yeah. a, the, the, a reason to do a co-op. So, Lost World, Jurassic Park, Savage Quest, Police Trainer, some really cool games right here. So, but again, guys, I believe that is it. Uh, I consider uh, my passion and hobby these days. So, uh, super cool. But yeah, that's it for me, guys. Puna, any last words? Uh, come to CEO 2023. Yeah, shush. Anyways. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Honestly, I've been asked to kind of do, I tour a lot. So go check out Barcades when I go, kind of maybe talk, the, the management here wasn't around to chit chat a little bit, but let me know what you thought of this video. If you want to see me do more of this kind of stuff, uh, I definitely would love to. So, but again, just so cool, just walking through and just so many arcade cabs everywhere. But I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. And uh, until next time guys, Jabali, Kuna, take care. C -E -O. Come on. The drink took some time, but now we're gonna